go ahead and talk about how to represent decimals using money. And uh, first we're going to go ahead and represent the dollar. The dollar, we'll represent that with a dollar sign. That's one dollar. No cents. Okay. We're going to represent the dime next. We're going to represent it as part of a whole, part of a whole dollar. That is zero dollars and ten cents. And we're also going to represent the penny as part of a whole dollar. That's zero dollars and one cents. Okay. If I was going to just represent as a, this as a decimal though, it would be one, one whole. Zero tenths and zero hundredths. Okay. My dime is zero holes, one tenth, and zero hundredths, or ten hundredths. And my penny, zero holes, zero tenths, and one hundredth, or one hundredth. Now, if I want to re represent the entire amount that I have showing right now as money, I would go ahead, my dollar sign, I've got one dollar, one dime, and one penny. So that's one dollar and eleven cents. If I represent as a decimal, very similar, one whole, one tenth, and one hundredth. So that's one and eleven hundredths. Whenever I, whenever I read a decimal, I read, uh, I say what the place value of the last one is in the last place value right here. This is in the hundredths place. So that's one and eleven hundredths. Okay, we're going to go ahead, erase what we got here, and we're going to go ahead and add some more money to this so you can get a different example of how to do this. And I'm going to go ahead, add three dimes and five pennies, three dimes and five pennies to what I already had. So, write it down as money. Okay, I have one dollar. I have 10, 20, 30, 40. Four dimes and one, two, three, four, five, six pennies. So if I read that, that's one dollar and forty six cents. If I want to do it as a decimal, it would be one whole, four tenths, and six hundredths. And I would read that as one and forty six hundredths. You notice. Also, I'm, I'm using the decimal. I say the decimal whenever I read the decimal it's as and. The and just represents uh, we're separating the holes from the parts of the whole. 